Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. Got a lot to tell you. Um, I got my hair cut, so I don't know if I've been on since um, I got my hair cut, so I got that chopped. Um, took off about seven inches, I think it was, off my hair. So it feels a lot better, so I'm loving that. Um, I decided um, the other day to just, I wanted to drive, I just wanted to go, I just wanted to take a trip. So I decided to drive to Herkimer, New York. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Herkimer Diamond, but the only place that you can get the Herkimer Diamond is in Herkimer, New York. So I took a drive, it was about a three hour drive one way, and it uh, it was amazing. Um, I, went, I went by myself um, and I went to the mines. I went to the Herkimer Mines. And uh, it was awesome. Um, the only thing is um, I wanna go another day when it's not so hot because you go and you pound on rocks to find the Herkimer diamonds. And I found a little teeny tiny piece and I put it in with the stuff it, that I got. And I decided to buy, what you can do is you can buy a bag. Um, and the bag is quite big. It was probably about, I would say, maybe about this big and it's all full of rocks and sand and the whole nine yards. And so I bought that, it was $25, and you sift it, like you would in the old mining days, and you sift it and you get things out of um, this bag. So what I got out of this bag um, was amazing. Um, I got this, and I believe that this, I'm not sure what all these are yet, I gotta do a little bit of research, but I think this might be either opal or a topaz, um, but that was the crystal that was in one of the bags that I got. Isn't that gorgeous? So I got that. So there's one out of the bag. I got some arrowheads. Very beautiful. And I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I'll just kind of show you. That selenite. I got two pieces of selenite. Let me dump these out here. I got two pieces of selenite. If I can find it. Yep, here it is. There's the other piece. So two pieces of selenite, which is great for cleansing. Um, let me look at my little chart here. Um, bum, 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 bum. I believe this might be... Um, citrine. So I got a nice big chunk of citrine. This one I believe might be green quartz or amazite. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I got to do a little bit more research here. There's another piece of that. Another little piece. Got my quartz. Couple pieces of quartz. That looks like the pink quartz, rose quartz maybe. And this would be your uh, amethyst. And I got some of the fossils. They came with fossils too, and I'm not sure. I believe these are the uh, brachiopod, I don't know if you guys can see them. Two of those, more lavender, or amethyst, I'm sorry. Some more clear quartz. Another clear quartz. I mean, you got a lot. There's another amethyst. 
Um, I got shark's teeth. Got quite a few of those in the bag. I mean, it was really neat um, place to go. It really was. Um, I suggest if you know you you're into crystals and stuff, it's a neat place. But don't go as if it is hot like it was when I went. So trying to find some different ones. I got fool's gold. A couple little pieces of fool's gold. And then this one is an ortho sierras. Got a couple of those. Um, obsidian. This is the little piece that I got when I mined, when I did my mining. That is a uh, Herkimer diamond. You guys can see it. I'll show you my bigger one. But like I said, it was too hot. Um, it was like 90, it was almost 100 degrees. And what you do is you go out in this quarry. And this quarry, um, you go out and it, it's nothing but rocks and dirt and, and clay. And uh, it is so hot sitting on those rocks when it's that hot. So I didn't stay out there real long because like I said, it was just, it was unbelievably hot. Here is a green quartz. And then this one, I believe, is a, I can't even say it, Chrysocola. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but yeah, there's some really, oh, here's the other piece of fool's gold. Can you guys see it? Isn't it cool? So, but that is what I got, and I got quite a bit. Um, I mean, this table's like full of nice little crystals that I got. Let's those back in the box here, and then I'll show you what I got. What else I got? There's so many little pieces, guys, that you when you sift, you get the little teeny tiny pieces, which is awesome. Let me just pick these up and then we'll get into Oh, here's a little Herkimer diamond too. Little baby. I don't know if you guys can even see it. If you guys can see it. A little tiny, tiny one. Okay, so then you can buy things from the gift store. So I got, um, you get this little baggie and it's $4.99 and you can put as many um, crystals in here as you want, um, as long as the bag closes. So I got, and I'm not sure what all of these are either. So I believe this is a septarian Um, not sure what this one is. I'll have to, like I said, I have to do my research, guys. Isn't that beautiful? I think that might be another Septarian. This one looks like a tiger's eye to me. Not sure what this one is. Not sure what that one is. This one, I believe, might be uh, amethyst. Another amethyst. Like I said, I'm not sure what these are yet, so. 
That looks like a smoky quartz to me. This looks like a, a red jasper. Other one. So those are the ones that I got in the bag for $4.99. And then, I'll show you my other two pieces, and that's all I got. Let me put these back so I don't lose this stuff. Okay, so let's show you this one first. Here is my, look at that, guys. It's all little Herkimer diamonds in there. Isn't that amazing? love it. It's so beautiful. So I got that. Wrap that back up. And then my last piece I got. Now, if you guys ever want to go to the mine, um, all you do is go on the internet and look up Herkimer um, Diamond uh, or Herkimer New York and it's right there. But here is my Herkimer Diamond, guys. Look at that. This is uncut. Isn't that gorgeous? Very, uh, very clear. Um, Herkimer. Absolutely love it. But yeah, I want to go again. Um, I want to go, um, when I have time to mine. Uh, they give you a, a mallet. And you go and you pound on the rocks. And um, like I said, it was too hot at that day um, that I did it. And um, so I didn't spend a lot of time doing that. So, but anyway, <clears throat> and then they give you a little sheet with the different, uh, you know, the different gemstones and fossils that you get. Oh, one more thing I got. I got a Herkimer Diamond Mines pen. And all of those are little Herkimer diamonds in there. It's not really showing very well, but yeah. And then it lights up. So you can see the little diamond. Isn't that pretty? I had to get it. So, but anyways, um, let's get on with what's going to be going on with you guys for July. All right. July. Um, this is, um, the biggest news that's going to happen this month for you guys is Jupiter is the, the planet of plenty, right? It is, um, going to be moving back into Aquarius this month. Um, and it's going to be moving in until December. So this is good news for, um, for all the fire signs, the, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's also good for, uh, air signs. So Gemini. Libra and Aquarius. Um, it's going to bring good luck um, to everyone, not just um, the air signs or the fire signs. It's good luck for everyone. Um, it's going to give you second chances at things. Um, it's going to. It's good for travel. It's good for study. It's good for teaching. It's good to expand on your philosophies. Um, so that's a good. Uh, you know, it, that's nice that that's coming in and it's going to be here till December, guys. So take advantage of that, you know, if you so be. Um, the new moon this month is going to be on the 9th in the United States and the 10th. Um, so, and it's going to be in Cancer, okay? So that's going to deal with shedding, um, shedding stuff, shedding those things that no longer serve our purpose. It's going to be... It, it deals in sexiness. So it's going to, you know, you're going to feel a little bit more on the sexy side or show that sexy side of yourself. It's It deals in home, you know, your home. Um, it's going to bring um, dynamic. Things are going to get uh, maybe a little sexy this, this uh, new moon. Um, then the full moon is going to be coming in. It's going to be coming in, a, in Aquarius on the 23rd and the 24th. Okay, that deals with karma, um, maturing, lessons to be learned, and commitment. OK? 
okay? So those are just a little bit of things that are going to be happening um, with your moon. So let's get on with your readings and see how things are going to be going for you guys with your readings. I'll be back right back. Hi, my Libras. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. Hope your June was wonderful. You can see how crazy mine has been. And I had a great month. A real great month. So. But anyways, let's give you these, these shuffles and get on with your reading and see what's going on with you guys. Three more shuffles. Last one. Angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that my Libras need to know for July of 2021? July. One more. Okay. All right. The first cards I am going to read are your inner cards. These are the cards that are closest to you and the cards that are coming in quickly. Okay. I have the fish, the four of hearts. This is riches through stocks. So if you're not in the stock market, I suggest putting some monies into the stock market. Um, it can also be talking about a water sign. Okay, so that would be your Cancer, your Scorpio, your, or your Pisces coming into you. So that is awesome. But put some money in some stocks, guys. Uh, seven of Clubs is the Lilies. Okay, this is a happy life. Um, family, uh, happy family life. Um, everything looks good there. So that's awesome. Then I had the Five of Hearts. This is the Moon. Um, this is uh, a good omen. Um, the moon is, predicts fortune for you. So fortune may be coming into you. Uh, the jack of spades is the shepherd. This is an intense love um, of life. You love life and you have a strong feeling towards other people. You care about other people. You care about what happens to other people. Great trait to have. The eight of clubs is the snake. Your life's going to start to get a little calmer. Um, in, in life. So you're not going to be as rushed and stuff um, as you have been. Four of clubs is the key. Success. This is a success card, um, but you need to put in a little bit of work, guys. You can't just think that it's going to come. You know, you do need to put in some work. That success is on the other side of that door, so you need to open that door before you can get that success. So that effort that you need to do to open that door, you know, you need to do that first before that success comes. Ten of hearts. This is the tree. Or, I'm sorry, the bouquet of flowers. Whoa. Uh, bouquet of flowers. This is an indication of a long and a happy life. So, that's awesome. Ten of clubs. The tower card. Um, this may be some sickness. Um, you may be um, coming down ill. Um, or somebody close to you may be coming down ill, um, kind of a sickness. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you take your echinacea, your vitamins, and things like that so that you don't come down sick. All right, let's look at these other cards here. Um, the next cards I'm going to read are your outer cards. These are the cards that are out there waiting to come into you. And uh, we have the Ace of Diamonds. This is the birds. This is a misfortune of some sort um, by a fierce enemy. So you have somebody um, that is an enemy that wants to cause you some harm. So you keep an eye on things. Um, you know, keep an eye out for this person. Um, if you know who this person is, get rid of them. Get them out of your life um, because they're just going to cause harm. Harm and pain. 
Nine of Diamonds is the heart. This is great joy, isn't here. Um, great joy is coming into you. That is amazing. Uh, the Jack of Clubs. This is the order card. Um, you will be honored and recognized for your hard work, for your labor. This also ensures business success. So stay where you're at. Um, business success is going to be coming to you. Ten of Diamonds is the Scythe. This is a disappointment of something. Um, usually it is um, something breaks down and you don't have the means to get it repaired or it's at an awkward time or a bad time that something breaks down. The Ace of Spades is the Rapiers. This is a warning against an assault or a threat of some sort. So uh, it's going to occur sooner or later. So be on the lookout for uh, that. Um, it... it um, usually happens by a somebody from a distance, not somebody that you're real close with, but a distant person. So keep an eye out for that. The book, Jack of Hearts. You're going to find out about something about someone. It's going to be a mystery or a secret of some sort that you're going to find out about somebody. And it is better that you find this out. It's good that you find this out about this person. The Eight of Diamonds. This is the broken glass. Don't go gambling. Don't play the lottery. Don't put your name in drawings, things along that nature. You're not going to be as lucky as you once were in the aspect for quite some time. Six of Clubs. This is the lightning. you got a surprise coming into you. And it's going to be coming in fairly quickly. So that surprise will be coming and it will be coming as fast as lightning. So keep an eye out for that. That's awesome. All right, so let's talk to universe. Universe, uh, clarify that reading I just did for my Libras, please. Clarify or add input into that reading I just did, please. We have music, full moon, and the eagle. So they want you to start to communicate. Um, uh, communicate with those that you care about or um, start to do some talking. Communicate with people. Um, maybe you haven't talked to somebody in a long time and, you know, you really want to talk to them. So, just you know, just talk. Talk, communicate. Um, you're coming to an end of a cycle. Um, there's a cycle that you've been going through for quite some time now. And the cycle is ending. It's, um, it's coming to an end. So it's time to be, uh, you know, to be harmonious. You know, start to, you know, be, oh, I'm finally at the end of the cycle. I'm beginning a new cycle. So be happy. Be fulfilled. You know, play that music. Enjoy, you know, that newness that is going to be coming your way. You know, that that stuff. But the end of the end of that cycle is coming to an end. So good things are going to be coming your way. That's awesome. Spirit, give me a card, uh, please, that my Libras need to hear for July. What is it that Libras need to hear for July? Dear you, sometimes you feel like no one understands you. You're not heard or even you don't count. This, my dear, is a terrible illusion. And although your feeling, feelings tell you that abandonment is real, well, we who love you know better. You are never alone, and even when rejection happens, you are ultimately being protected. So better things can replace what wouldn't have worked in the first place. Everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for your ultimate success. Life loves you, we love you, and you are a unique spark of the divine and always connected to the light and to source. You are always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. 
love you always and forever. So guys, there are times in our lives um, that we feel rejected, not heard. Um, just remember that you're always loved. You're always cared for. A spirit is always there. Um, and things may not turn out the way that you want them to, um, but that they don't turn out the way that they that you want them to because they wouldn't have worked in the first place. So you got to remember that, um, that that is why um, things happen. You know, you're on the path that you should be on and it's the learning path and just keep learning. You know, keep learning from people that come into your life, situations that come into your life. You know, life is beautiful. You have to make it beautiful. All right, so one last card for you guys, and this is your reflection card for the month of July. Reflection card for my Libras, please. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Hard thing to do, isn't it? As I forgive myself, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough and I am free to love myself. It's true. If you get rid of those feelings that, um, that you're not good enough, you know, I'm not good enough, I can't, I don't, I want, you're going to have time to love yourself. You're going to be free of those burdens, those things that are negative, right? Um, you know, you can't always say, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, 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 no. Let's not say that. Let's say I have, I want, I need, it's here. You know, you want money, pretend like you have it. You know, I have all the money in the world. I have what I want. You know, don't say, I don't have it. I'm never going to have any money. It's not going to come to you. Remember that. So I forgive myself. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Everybody um, does something that they wish that they didn't do. But if we dwell on it, then it's going to haunt us forever. If we forget about it start something over. I can do something different, right? So I hope this helps you guys. Remember that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. That gives you that better picture into your full reading and I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing July and I'll see you next time.